Hi everyone, thanks for watching me, I'm Dr Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to do a question regarding heaven. So this new segment, I'm going to try and do it every week. Um, obviously, if you do have a question about heaven and you want me to answer it, please comment below or email me and my email address is also listed below in the description. Okay, so I'm going to try and do this every week. So today I've got my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. As you can see how thick it is. Okay, it's 369 pages of my near-death experience and what I learned when I was in heaven. So today's question, which is questions about heaven, I'm going to talk about when people die and they don't see anything. Um, you know, we've um, all got our own perception of where we go because it's all our conscious awareness, correct? So I can only base my opinion on what I experienced and the experiences of others where I try and delve into the science of what this is all about. Because ultimately, you know, we're in the three-dimensional world and when we transcend or progress or transfer into another realm which is heaven we have to go through a different dimension so that will be a question by itself yeah where is heaven so for today's topic it is where where do they go when they see nothing so i've got chapter six here where i talk about the fog stage so I'm going to give an excerpt from this today about what I saw when I died and I'm also going to explain what happened to a relative of mine. Let's just go there first. Um, he's a close relative of mine and when obviously I had my event and we started talking again because I was in America and he lives here in Australia. So when I came back to Australia, he said to me, my gosh, I am so envious of what you saw because I went nowhere. So I asked him, I said, what do you mean you went nowhere? He was having a medical procedure done and he flatlined, code blued, clinical dead, whatever you'd like to call it. But in his instant, it was only for about half a minute to a minute where he was like technically gone. Okay, so he said when he had that experience, he saw nothing, he went nowhere, and he felt nothing. Now, what he was talking about there was that he perceived nothing. Okay, so let me do this excerpt from my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven, on page 61, The Fog Stage. Imagine you are standing next to your bed where you sleep every night. You are familiar with your surroundings and you are aware of the familiar smells and noises around you. Then close your eyes and keep them closed for five seconds. When you open your eyes, you're now in a totally different location or country. That is what the fog stage was like for me. You move to another location, totally different to where you just were, except for the fact that you did not move your body. Your mind just took you there. That is what the fog stage is like. So continued over on page 62, except for one big thing. I did not close my eyes. My eyes were open and you get this veil like a fog stopping you, see, um, stopping you see where you are and all other senses are now null and void as well. So how I explain this is like I just said, if you close your eyes and when you open your eyes, imagine that you're in a totally different country. What just happened? happened there so it wasn't 
instant with me because I went through this fog stage, this void, this darkness where I had no perception. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't feel anything. And for that duration of time, if time exists, I actually didn't think about where am I now? Where is this? Where's home? Where's my pets? How's my bills getting paid next week? Who's going to look after my car? There was no thought of that with me. But there are others that I have researched because, hello, you know, you have an experience and then you want to find out what happens to others, yes? So other people have actually said that they're in this fog stage for minutes. Some, it felt like hours, where they're just being there, unable to walk, unable to look around because it's so dark and there's nothing there. And most importantly, they were apparent that they had no physical body because there's no pain, there's no gravity pushing down on our physical body where you would feel your feet on a surface. So there was nothing like that. Right now I've got my arm on my armrest here of my chair. So imagine that there's just no, it's weightless. It's weightless. So where is this? And why does it exist? In my personal experience, and you may have a different viewpoint here, so please comment below if you do have a different viewpoint, okay? But in my personal opinion here, I think that this fog stage or this darkness or void, as some people call it, I think that this is the between worlds where we are existing here in our three-dimensional world. And if you listen to some scientists out there who are spiritual, they'll say that the heaven place exists in the ninth dimension. Or is it the 10th? Or is it the 15th? Or is it the 36th? Or is it the 58th? Or is it the 2028 dimension? Because no one has actually verified this. They're all theories. And that's what I'm presenting today. A theory based on not only my personal experience, but everybody else's that I've read, probably a couple of thousand experiences I've read over the years, as well as part of my PhD when I was studying all this scientific stuff as well. Okay, so I believe... We exist here. Heaven exists here. And because it's dimensional, we have to go through this process. Now, if you've ever watched the movie Stargate, there you go. You put your hand into this round, like a mirrored uh, vibrational energy thing, and you can put your hand into it. And then you go through this like wormhole and then you end up at the other location. But with that movie Stargate, one, they were aware that they were traveling and two, they felt it. They could see what they were seeing. And most of all, they still were aware of their physical body. So I do like referring back to books and movies and even TV shows where they put these little hints of the reality in there. So then we can think, hmm, wonder if that's something that is actually true and does exist. So I firmly believe that this fog stage that I went through is actually the difference between our reality on this three-dimensional plane and the reality of where we go to when we die. Now, why do some people stay there for half a minute, hours, minutes, seconds? Why don't they go actually to heaven? And that's a good question. Because at the end of the day, we've got to realize that our body does exist here in the three-dimensional world. And in most times, in with near-death experiences that have seen this like blackness, void, fog stage, 
they are actually in um, a situation where somebody is trying to revive them or they're about to wake up by themselves naturally okay so if you can imagine I'm here as Linda in the three-dimensional world and I've died which happened to me in 2001 my soul my essence my energy my frequency whatever whatever you want to say holy spirit that has left my building <laughs> my building being my body it's passing through that void trying to get to heaven because the body is now deceased but because the the body or that building now is now back operational back comes your spirit and you re-enter into your body before you go through that stage to get to heaven and I think that is exactly right in my personal opinion so if you do have a difference of opinion or you want more clarification or anything please comment below or email me my email address is in the comments below okay so I firmly believe that for those who go into this fog stage as I call it in my book they're consciously aware that they have passed and they're making that transcending process to heaven however because their body um, for some reason decides that it's going to live again they stay there like a hover and then they return to their body okay so I hope that that's given you some clarification today. If you do want a copy of my book, it is available on Lulu for the hard copy, which is what you see here. Look how thick it is with all my pictures and diagrams are in there as well. Whoops, you didn't really see any. Yep, look, you just saw a picture. There's another picture. So there are pictures in here. If you want the PDF version, it's cheaper. It's available on my website, www.lindaray.info. If you do want to contact me, my email is below. I would love to get any feedback, any questions that you want in future questions about heaven. And until then, have a great night, good morning or good evening, wherever you are. And I'll catch you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.